All right, so next up, I want to talk to you guys about my favorite keto snacks. My favorite keto snacks. And so I guess I'll walk over and grab them. So let's talk about my favorite keto snacks. All right, let's see how many keto snacks we got here. And guys, these are like, no joke, the best of the best of the best. This is me being on keto for like a year plus, right? And me keeping all my favorites, I keep them in stock. And to be frank, like guys, I may have one of these snack, keto snacks like every other day. Um, but especially the sweet stuff, I, I try to limit, okay? Um, because the sweet stuff can can kind of interfere with you wanting sweet things all the time. And it's kind of a slippery slope, right? So should you be eating all of this stuff multiple times a day or, you know, uh, every single day? No. But are these good substitutes for a lot of food? And are these good kind of snacks or desserts? 100%. So first and foremost, you guys see what I'm drinking here. This is, this is Gatorade Zero. So great um, alternative drink. Um, still not the best in terms of sweeteners in here. They still got sucralose in here, which I'm not a fan of. Um, but at the end of the day, all that I really drink anymore is water, coffee, uh, regular coffee, espresso, um, uh, unsweet tea, and then Gatorade. So Gatorade's like my one guilty pleasure. Uh, and then I guess the other drink would be, um, there's a company called Zevia that makes uh, sodas that are made out of stevia which is like keto approved. So this is one here that Usman just brought me. This is a this is a root beer soda, essentially. I'm not a huge fan of these. Like I like them every once in a while. They come in clutch when I'm having like a bad craving or something. Um, but the Gatorades, definitely like every other day I'm down in a Gatorade. All right, so in no particular order, I'll run you guys through the snack. So um, Quest makes these chips, okay? And they're called protein chips. And this is my favorite, favorite, favorite by far. So this is the nacho cheese. The other flavors are okay. I think this one's the best though by far. Um, so just being open and honest with you guys, one of the hardest things on keto um, is there's there's a lot there's not a lot of foods that have crunch. <laughs> so there's not a lot of foods that have crunch, right? So you're eating like a lot of meats and proteins and things like that, right? You're eating like fats, so they're kind of soft. And so there's not a lot of crunchy stuff. So a lot of the like keto hacks or things that I'll do, I'm trying to turn things crispy or crunchy, right? Like I talked about the air fryer earlier, right? Because they give me that crunch. Um, so next up is um, beef sticks, right? Beef sticks are awesome. The big thing that you want to watch out for is uh, you, you don't want to get like the main the main brands because they're sticking all kinds of byproducts in it because they're trying to get them to last on the shelf like of gas stations for years, right? And convenience stores for years. So you got to be careful. Um, so you just want to look at the ingredients list uh, and it should be short, man. It should be really short. And at the end of the day, you should know what everything is on the ingredients list. If not, like after reading a couple, you'll know what it is. But the thing that I like to look at uh, as well is how many carbs are there, okay? And there's zero carbs in these. So um, this brand I really like as well, um, and they're really popular in the in the like kind of healthy and also keto community. And they're called Knits Sticks. And so there's all kinds of flavors in there. These are these are freaking good. Um, let's see here. Next up again, um, and you'll see a theme here: some crunch, right? So this is um, kind of a Nutrigrain bar, so to speak, kind of take. Um, this is a very crunchy bar that's made out of mostly almonds um, and has four net carbs. So it's like um, almonds and other nuts uh, and a little vanilla type of taste. Um, and it's and it's really, really crunchy. Like this thing's, this thing's hard. Um, so another way that I like to get crunch um, let's see here. What else we got? Um, after I did, after I did my cut, um, I got down to like 168, 169 pounds and guys, I'm six foot two. Like I'm used to being a big guy. I was in like a 28 or, or 30 inch waist. Like I felt like a little dude. I felt like a little man. So like by all, by all means, once I cut down so far, I was just trying to get rid of as much of my body fat as I possibly could. Right. And get down to as far as I could without being uncomfortable. And I, I stopped at like 160, I, 168, I couldn't go any further. Then I went into kind of maintenance phase. And then 
Um, I kept that for a while and then I came out the other side and started bulking. And so just gradually, like I started to slip my calories down over time and just guys, like I was dropping my calories by like 50 to a hundred calories a week, just really, really slow. Okay. So I'm constantly giving my body just a little bit of leverage, right. To keep burning the fat off instead of, you know, this huge dropping calories, which I would never advise. Um, but when I was bulking, I found that like, I just wasn't used to eating that much food anymore. Like it was hard for me to, to get all the food in. So if, if you find that that's the case, um, or you need a solution for food on the go, um, this is called a keto brick and you guys can Google these. Uh, this is like a meal replacement bar. It's like a brick like this big and folks, there's a thousand calories in this brick. That's like this big. Okay, so this is a big, a, a good way to get in a lot of calories um, quickly. One of the newest, I would say actually the newest addition to my 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 stacks or uh, my my uh, my my big list of things here at the office, my stash so to speak, is these, right? So these uh, high key mini cookies, and again, these are these are like guilty pleasures. I try not to get into these very often because I will quite literally eat the whole bag. And again, these are these are made out of almond flour. They're gluten free um, and made with coconut oil and collagen. So they're, they're really tasty, but they're not really terribly bad for you either. So I said I was going to keep it to five, but we'll do some more. Um, this brand, No, makes a really good cookie as well, since we're talking about cookies. Um, chocolate chip's my favorite. Not too much of a fan of the peanut butter, um, but I got it to try it. Um, there's another company called Fat Snacks that makes a chocolate chip that's real chocolate chip cookie that's really good as well. Um, and I would say probably like my biggest one of my biggest guilty pleasures that I use a lot, like something that I lean on quite a bit, um, are these f bombs, <laughs> f bombs. Um, and so this is uh, nut butter. So this is macadamia nut butter um, and chocolate with uh, coconut. And so folks, these taste so good. Like this is like peanut butter on crack, right? And it's just easy. Like this is on the go. I can shove it in my pocket. I go to an event. I'm going to speak somewhere, right? Like I'm sitting in an audience, whatever the case is. I'm in a business meeting. I can just like whip it out and like eat it. Like it's so simple. It's one of the easiest on the go things. And these things are, these things are like energy, like pills, like, energy treats like you eat one of these or I eat one of these and my energy just like boom like takes off because of the macadamia nut oil and the coconut oil again when you're on keto your your body's running on that fat so this is like instantaneous fat right and instantaneous energy and you will just like quite literally if you're if you're like falling asleep you take this and it's like so it's like me right before a webinar I'm like I haven't eaten all day I'll break my fast with one of these and I'm kind of like starting to like fall for the day. I've been up since five o'clock. I ran five miles. I lifted, right? And by like three o'clock on a Wednesday, I'm like starting to crash a little, right? If I haven't eaten yet. So right before I'll pop one of these, right? And I will quite literally just like blast off with energy. So those are kind of my, my big go-to uh, keto snacks.